Kata News, Siaya. And Kenya has had 11 heads of the military since independence from Major General Robert Penfold to General Francis Ogola, who passed away on Thursday. Retired General Daudi Tonje, who served from 1996 to 2000, is one of the most iconic military chiefs due to his reforms in the military, among them the succession structure overseen by the National Security Council. Here's the history of Kenya's military bosses since independence. Chief of Defense Forces, abbreviated as CDF, is the highest rank one can attain while serving in the Kenyan military. The CDF is the head of the military, which is made up of three wings, the Kenya Army, the Kenya Air Force, and the Kenya Navy. The Kenyan military has been headed by 11 men since the country gained independence. The first was Major General Robert Bernard Penfold, who was appointed by the founding president Jomo Kenyatta. Major General Penfold from the Kenya Army served from November 1966 to May 1969. In June 1969, Major General Joseph Musi Mindolo was appointed Kenya's second military chief, succeeding Major General Penfold. Major General Joseph Ndolo became the first African to head the Kenyan military. His reign lasted for only two years as it came to an abrupt end following the 1971 coup attempt. Major Ndolo was succeeded by Major General Jackson Mulinge who was the first to hold the position of Chief of General Staff and served the longest between 1971 and 1986. Major General was Kenya's first four-star general. Mulinge was succeeded by General Retired Mahmoud Mohammed, who served as the Chief of General Staff for 10 years from 1986 to 1996. General Mohammed is remembered for his role in neutralizing the 1982 attempted coup when he was the Deputy Army Commander. In 1996, Kenya's second president, the late Daniel Arab Moi, appointed the retired General Daoudi Tonje to replace Mohamud as the chief of general staff. Tonje is one of the most iconic and most celebrated holders of the office owing to his push for reforms. Some of the reforms include the establishment of the Defense Staff College and the Kenya Defense Force Medical Insurance Scheme. He also pushed for change that would see cadets at the Armed Forces Training College, now referred to as the Kenya Military Academy, attain university education, leading to a degree in military science. Daudi Tonje was succeeded by retired General Joseph Kibwana in 2000 and held the position until 2005. General Kibwana became the first Navy officer to occupy the office of the Chief of General Staff. He oversaw a smooth transition of power in 2002 when the late President Moi handed over power to Mwai Kibaki. In 2005, General Jeremiah Kinga from the Kenya Army was promoted and appointed Chief of the General Staff by President Mwai Kibaki, taking over from retired Joseph Kibwana. He served from 2005 to 2011 when he handed over the mantle to General Julius Karangi from the Kenya Navy. Consequently, General Karangi became the first officer to hold the new position of Chief of Defense Forces as provided for under the 2010 Constitution. He is also the general who led the Kenyan troops to war in Somalia under the Operation Code named Lindanchi in October 2011. General Karangi was in 2015 succeeded by General Samson Mwatete of the Kenya Navy. Five years later, in 2020, President Uhuru Kenyatta appointed General Robert Kibochi as the new military boss. Kibochi attained retirement age in 2023 and he was replaced by the late General Francis Ogola from the Kenya Air Force. Having served just close to a year, Ogola is Kenya's shortest serving military chief and the first to die in office. Lieutenant General Charles Kahariri from the Kenya Navy, who was named the new Vice Chief of Defense Forces on March 8th, is likely to be Kenya's new military boss, going by General Tonje's rules, which provide for rotation of the post between the Kenya Air Force, Kenya Navy and Kenya Army.